the two Jennies. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jenny Brown. Hi. Bye to let. A tough year? Um, potentially a tough year for certain types of investors. So landlords, I think, who have property held in their own names, who have been looking to refinance to get um, new deals, or who have been looking to refinance their portfolio to leverage um, it to get more money out to go and reinvest have probably found it quite tough yeah. um, owing to the more um, onerous stress tests that are in place on the back of the PRA um, changes that came in yeah. last year. And the tax changes too I guess. Yeah yeah that's also been really tough for those guys. What we have seen which has been really positive actually is um, and it's been really interesting to really um, witness how um, landlords react to market changes um, so we've seen a definite shift towards um, lend, uh, landlords rather looking to chase yields, so more HMO investments. Geographically, their focus has moved more away from the southeast and into the northern parts of the country to get better yielding properties. Um, we've also seen a shift into limited company lending, both for new purchases and people incorporating portfolios. That's been really positive for us as a business because that's really where yeah. we are, um, where we excel. Um, so, you know, it's been a tough year for sure, but definitely not a bad year. The other thing that I think has been really um, wonderful to witness has been the real, um, to see product transfers really get going. By product transfers, what that is is where you have a mortgage with a vendor and then offering you a rate to stay with them rather than having to shop around to go somewhere else. That market's really got going now. There's much more competitive pricing available to borrowers. Um, landlords simply aren't having to shop around and go to yeah. new lenders every single time. Actually, it tends to be a good option for them to stay where they are as well. So that's cheaper and it takes less time, I guess, to process. Absolutely, yeah. Brilliant. Yes. Okay, so not a bad year for buy to let, particularly if you're a professional landlord rather than someone that's got into it perhaps accidentally or as um, a part time um, occupation. Yes. Um, next year. What are your thoughts? Because there's so much going on in the press about Brexit and house prices falling and what have you. Where do you think we're going to be with, with Bytelet in particular? Yeah, I think um, I think next year will probably be largely very similar to this year. Um, I think that, um, so I think it's very important to understand that Brexit is a, a thing that's on people's minds and it's making people very nervous. Yeah. Um, but actually there is still a demand for um, housing in the private rental sector. That's not going to go away. The banks are well capitalised, we're not facing another credit crisis and um, we're not expecting anything really crazy to happen with interest rates. So actually in terms of, you know, is this a good year to be investing? I think this year feels very much, you know, akin to, to the last year. Right, great. Thanks very much. You're welcome. And that was a filming edit nonsense by Telec business nonsense thing from Jenny and